So today I thought I would talk a bit about what it was like to be at, at Summer Institute. What was life really like for those, uh, those six weeks? Um, I was posted to the London region, which was great, um, because I live in London, and I requested that, and it all worked out, which was, which was wonderful. Um, and I decided I was given the option of either staying at home uh, for the initial four weeks or going into uh, to stay in halls of residence um, a few miles down the road in, in, in New Cross. And I decided I would just stay in, in, in my flat in London, which was great. I was able to just um, live my normal life in a way, which, is, which was, which was uh, very nice. Um, so I, I, I stayed there for the initial four weeks, going to um, lectures during the day, um, back home uh, in the evening, and um, then for the final two weeks, I was in uh, Leeds, staying in halls of residence with the other participants uh, from from Teach First, which I which I loved, and that was a really a really great great experience. Um, I've written down a few questions that I thought might be helpful to answer, um, just some very practical things about what life is like uh, on Summer Institute. Um, where will I be staying? What will accommodation be like? Well, as I, as I said. I was able to, to stay in my uh, in my own home. Um, accommodation in Leeds was, uh, as you would imagine, a halls of residence to be a small little um, pokey room um, with a, a bed and a desk and a um, shower showering area. Um, how many hours a day did I have lectures for? Or how much free time did I have? Um, the days were pretty full throughout the six week period, except of course when um, I was at school. I was I was in, at a school in West London for two weeks during that six week period. And I was also at the school I'm now teaching in for, I think it was about three days. Other than that, both in London and in Leeds, um, it was uh, lectures um, pretty packed throughout the day. So it is a pretty intensive um, uh, six week period. And there's also an essay to write during that time, um, so uh, uh, yeah, it's it it is quite a um, quite a full on uh, experience, um, but it is only six weeks, and it is it is it is certainly um, very very doable. Another question I had was, you know, would I be able to uh, make 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 plans in the evening? Um, how would I be able to use my own my my own time uh, during during um, SI? Um, I was able to. Most evenings, I was able to do whatever I wanted when I was in London. There were a few evenings where there were um, uh, things I was required to attend, not too many. Um, um, and then um, when I was in Leeds, um, the evenings were set aside for... There were some um, social activities arranged, but a lot of the evenings were, were uh, fairly free. And there was a weekend... Uh, in the middle that um, uh, that I actually left Leeds and went, and went somewhere else. So um, there was a good amount of, of free time, as well as uh, some arranged sessions and, of course, some work, that a fair bit of work, actually, that had to, that had to be done. So quite a lot of the evenings when, uh, when I came home after lectures in London or Leeds, I was then working um, um, to prepare for the next day or to, to write essays or, or, or whatever. But there was some free time as well. How many how many participants were, um, would there be? Um, uh, in London, there were I think in London there were several hundred uh, altogether. But you're then broken down into smaller groups, and I guess I was generally in groups of about thirty, but different groups, which I really liked. It, it, and what that did was it meant that very quickly I got to know a lot of other students. So I was in a group. For example, that um, was working in East London, in, in, in a number of boroughs in East London. Uh, I was also in a group of geography students. Um, I was also in a group of just mixed students. Um, and you know, every what that means is that is that now um, very regularly I'm bumping into students that I did get to know at some point during SI, which is a very nice nice thing to have happened. Another question I have is. Um, what were we expected to wear at SI? Uh, and I think the party line from Teach First was that we were needed. We needed to be professionally dressed, um, really akin to the way in which we would be um, dressed for an office. So, uh, shirt and suits and 
ties and all that kind of thing. Um, and it certainly began like that. Uh, but as time went on, we, it did become a bit more uh, informal, which was which was good, which was good really. And I appreciate it. Um, of course, when we then went into schools, we did have to be uh, dressed in the same way. Um, but there is a requirement to dress uh, pretty smartly um, uh, for for both parts of the uh, of the of the SI experience. But as I said, there was some relaxation that took place with that as well. Uh, now the question is, what what will the food be like? Um, well, of course, as I said, I was living at home uh, for for the month I was in London, so I just ate as I would normally eat. Um, in in Leeds, we were catered for, uh, and there were uh, we were catered all, all meals were catered for, and I have to say the food was pretty good. I think people were pretty happy with the food, and it was it was a very nice thing to go and. Uh, be catered for like that, which meant that you had time to do other things, and you didn't have to worry about about cooking or, or, or meals when, um, when when you were, had also a lot of time uh, to study. So the breakfast will be available um, in or near to, near to the halls of residence. Um, then there'll be lunch available at the university during the day, and then there'll be uh, be meals available in the evenings. Um, and uh, on a number of occasions, meals were organised, for example, for the London region, where everyone working in London got together to eat together. And they, they, were, they were very nice occasions, and again, provided the opportunity for, um, uh, for relationships to develop, to really get to know and strengthen um, friendships that were developing with, with fellow students. And I think people really, really enjoyed those. Are there any facilities to cook your own meals? Um, certainly when I was in Leeds, there were. We had a, a, a kitchen... That was uh, in the same on the same floor of the same block that we were staying in, and so people could cook if they wanted to. But the reality was almost no one did. We did use the uh, the canteens that were, were there, and the food was good. And there was no I didn't feel any need uh, to do anything else. I think a few times people got takeaways that that, that came in, um, and of course there were teas, coffees, all that kind of thing, always uh, available. But like I said, the, the food that was provided was uh, was good and there was no need to really do any cooking um, other than that. Um, tips for getting the most out of the Summer Institute. Um, I, I think, first of all, come with an open mind. Be very open to what's going to happen. Um, be particularly open to getting to know a lot of new people very quickly. Remember that everyone's in the same position as you are. Um, people start knowing no one or hardly anyone, and I think the key is just to uh, to, go low, to, to, to to try and just to, to to say hello to as many people as you can, and just to try to get to know as many people as you can uh, uh, initially, and then of course you'll start to identify people that you want to spend uh, spend more time with. Um, I think the other thing is, yep, yeah, do work hard. It is a time when you need to gather as much as you can do. You you begin with a toolbox that's empty. And I think a tip is try and fill that toolbox with as many um, useful instruments as you can so that when you begin teaching um, at the beginning of September, you could open and you've got a few tools there that you can start to use. And what you'll find is that um, over the next, over the, over the initial weeks and months, once you start teaching, you will start to place more things in that toolbox. But try to fill it with key things that are going to help um, initially. Uh, and that will make your life as easy as you possibly can in, in of course, quite challenging circumstances when you start at the school that you're, you're teaching in. I think another thing is work hard, but also make sure you make time for yourself. Do make time, make, make sure that you live as balanced life as possible. So you know, do keep in contact with, uh, with, with friends and family, um, do exercise, uh, do, do, you know, do get away from things when you can do as well. But be aware that this is a six-week intensive um, course that you are going to have to really devote most of your life to for, for, for that period. Now the question is, um, what is the average age? What is the, um, what is the sort of type of person that's taking part in Summer Institute? I guess the average age was probably mid-twenties. Probably 23 to 25, I think. Um, and then there were a number of 
student or, or participants that would have been in their late twenties and a few in their early thirties, and then there were a few uh, in their forties. And I I remember for for the first few weeks um, hardly encountering anyone that was in the mid forties, and then when I got to Leeds, actually just towards the end, I I realised there were a few of us there, not so many. Um, I think overall there's something like um, 25% of career changes. So you do come across quite a lot of people that have done other things um, before they start to, to join Teach First. Most of those career changes uh, that I encountered were probably late 20s. Um, uh, but there were a few of us um, that, were, that were also um, a, a bit older as well. What was interesting, though, was that I found that um, I really had the sense that whatever age we were, we were of a very, very similar type. That was really quite an interesting observation to make. Um, pe people felt like they were quite similar in character somehow. And I mentioned this to one or two of my uh, tutors, and they actually said to me, well, it's actually not a surprise because um, you know, Teach First takes great care with the participation selection program. And so they are looking for a certain type um, of person to pay, take part in the, in the course. Um, if I was to think about what those shared characteristics were, um, I think um, uh, generally people were, 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 were pretty outgoing, um, but a definitely a mixture of extroverts and introverts and ambiverts and, and whatever. Um, I think people that clearly wanted to make uh, a difference in their lives and wanted to do something that they felt was, was significant. And um, I felt that it was, a, in general, a pretty supportive and open group of people to be with. It was um, people were generally welcoming and, uh, and 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 open to meeting new people and willing to embrace and bring other people into 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 any groups they might have been in. So it, that was a really nice thing to have discovered that whatever the age, you felt like you were you were among really quite like-minded people. Generally, people were really quite good with other people. Um, which you need to be, of course, as a teacher, uh, and so that was a that was a really nice thing that I found, and something that, again that I hadn't been particularly uh, expecting to find, or hadn't thought about before I I started the uh, the course. Another thing I found on Summer Institute was that um, there was really quite a diverse um, ethnic background that people had, um, in terms of also those that have been at state school and private schools. Um, in London, I found that. Uh, amongst my geography cohort, it was very much dominated by uh, participants that have been educated privately. Um, and I think quite a lot in London tend, tend to be educated privately. But then when I got to Leeds, uh, I felt that the overall balance was very much um, dominated by those who've been educated in, in the state sector. So there's, there's, a, there's a very interesting balance, the uh, mixture of, of participants that, again, made it a stimulating uh, experience to, to to have had, and I pre I very much appreciated the the real mixture of students that there were uh, that there were on the on the course. Once we finished the the last uh, the last lecture, there was a sort of farewell um, session um, where there were a few speeches made, and then we came out and Teach First had arranged a sort of open air party with music and and sort of stalls where food, we could get food. And that was a really nice surprise. And I think everyone really, really did enjoy that. And it was a very nice way to end the whole six-week uh, experience and say goodbye to people um, as we left uh, Leeds uh, the next day. So we've just come to the end of the uh, closing ceremony for the London region. Uh, it's been a great celebration of completing uh, Summer Institute. We've had speeches, we've had music, we've had words of encouragement, words of thanks. Uh, and I think it's really uh, a great and fitting way to close the last six weeks and to really send people on their way to do what we all know and understand is an important job uh, for the future.